motorcycles for me started out young kid. You know, obviously I'm a farm kid from Idaho. My dad is a potato farmer, San Hall, Idaho. Uh, he bought me my first motorcycle. My brother and I trapped gophers, and I think there was more messing around than there was work mainly at that age. But 1972 Yamaha YZ80 ripping around the farm. My brother and I'd make jumps out of straw bales and a little light light shovel work, you know, and um, snowmobiling. Grew up riding up in Cascade, McCall. My dad raced cross country for a little bit uh, professionally, so my brother and I would go and race the tracks behind him and all that. And then I think I was probably like 12 or 13 and a guy approached me in the back country and told me I should go to a contest in West Yellowstone that he washed it the year before and I, you know, I, he was watching me ride and doing tricks off cornices and whatever and he's like, oh, you'll, you'll smoke these guys. So I went to it and ended up winning it, West Yellowstone, I think it was 99. And then a couple years later started doing shows back east for some people at the Super Snowcross, indoor snowcross events. And then 2002 and 2003, I won two world championships in uh, indoor FSX tour, which was freestyle inside. And then did some shows for SCS for about seven years and was a Red Bull athlete for, I think, six years. And then X Games the last nine years, been with Monster for six of them now and here we are ten ten medals later I've always been a, a littler guy um, short 5'9 and when I was in high school I think I weighed like 103 pounds until I was a junior or a senior um, so I was really kinda small for big bikes and it was right at that like transition phase where they started riding 250F's and I had a 250F uh, my senior year, but I'll, I'll get back to that, I guess. But yeah, I just was really good on an 80. I wanted to do freestyle motocross more than anything. I was a huge Krusty fan. You know, I grew up watching Twitch, and you know, I even went to shows. I'd, my dad and I, if there was a show in Twin Falls, we were driving to Twin Falls. You know, he was all about it. He knew that it was like my thing. You know, he caught my brother and I, we built a huge jump out in the desert and my brother had the loader tractor with the bucket all the way up and we built this jump and I jumped over it on my 80 and was all whipped out over this loader tractor in the desert and obviously highly illegal because we were on BLM and uh, my dad you know he's seen us do so many just bonehead deals you know wanting to that's what I wanted to do I wanted to be a professional motocrosser so bad and then the snowmobile thing just kind of happened, you know, it was just like I was obviously really good at it just growing up, going to all these races with my dad and all my cousins and everyone. We had a cabin in Cascade right next to each other, so it was just nonstop. We were riding together, you know, my cousins and I would, even when we didn't even like snowmobiling that much, we were using snowmobiles to go all the way to the top of the mountain, my cousins and I, and we'd take trips, you know, snowboarding, going all the way down. So um, the trick thing just, I don't know, I think when I was like 13, I just, it just was like, man, I, I guess I can do freestyle on this in the wintertime and ride my bike in the summertime, and it just makes sense, you know, and then was doing big jumps and dropping big cliffs, and the only problem was is back then they weren't very strong, so I was just like, totaling my sled out right out of the beginning of the year and uh, by the middle of the season there's no one wanting to let me ride their snowmobile for my family because they're like I'm not gonna get this thing back you know <laughs>